Hello from London. This week in London, we've got some very expensive and beautiful modern jewellery, an interview with Lord Howard on the 10th birthday of a famous London theatre, and a visit to a very special sort of school. Here's Sandra Harris with A Girl's Best Friend. And isn't it beautiful? When one thinks of baubles such as these, one usually thinks of glamorous, glittery quarters of London, such as Regent Street or Burlington Arcade or, or Bond Street, the centre for elegant shops and famous jewellers. Well, on the fringes of all this, there's a small company in Shaftesbury Avenue who've recently walked off with all the honours for their beautiful jewellery in the face of their famous rivals. The exterior is unprepossessing. They may not have ruffled the pages of Debrett as yet, but Andrew Greamer of H.J. Company has just won the Duke of Edinburgh's prize for elegant design. And it's for this jewellery. And H.J. is also in favour for having won, along with firms like Rolls-Royce and Wedgwood, the Queen's Award for industry for their exports. The man behind H.J. is Andrew Greamer, a mechanical engineer who turned jeweller to work in his father-in-law's company. And now, 20 years later, he's in sole charge of a firm that's not only 30 strong, but one that makes 1,500 new pieces a year and exports to the tune of £100,000. The emphasis is one of fine workmanship, but in the modern idiom, they don't go in for diamond bumblebees or poodles with ruby eyes. And, Mr. Greamer, you as a mechanical engineer, this sounds a, an odd sort of a background, really, for a man who makes jewellery, but perhaps it's been an advantage rather than a disadvantage. Yes, I think the fact that um, I had no training in the design and making of jewellery uh, from a tender age uh, has allowed me to have a, an uninhibited approach to design in jewellery and uh, as a result of this of course my pieces are far more daring than uh, the type that one sees nowadays not only in England but any other part of the world. They certainly feel marvellous. These are the pieces that won the Duke of Edinburgh's award, aren't they? That's correct. Do you have any particular favourite pieces yourself? I particularly like this um, golden diamond brooch, which is one of my latest pieces. Gorgeous. It gives the impression of a, a cloud formation. Is that where you got the idea, in fact? It is, yes. These designs are so unconventional and, and so modern, and I'm wondering if perhaps this is all part of the trend of, of dressing now so that it fits more in with our way of living than us being um, in a dress where we're all part and parcel of, of something. Yes, I think that's true. Right? Uh, one doesn't consciously design to uh, make one's jewellery to fit in with modern dress, so one follows the line that uh, uh, one has at the back of one's mind. and. Uh, I think that the environment that um, we have in London in particular today uh, provides uh, an inspiration for the type of, the design, of design that you see here. And so we're all really rather getting more with it in jewellery, yes, not just no one particular type it. of person. Mr. Greenwood, thank you very much.